Hi, it's Carly McAvoy. I want to show you how to get the most out of your Math Excel class. So when I'm in here, um, this is a fictitious student and um, Russell Wilson, and I want to do something here. I want to go back and improve a homework score. I want to click on homework and test to do that. If I just want to see how I did on something, I can click on results and see what I missed. So that's always a nice option to go in and review, but Clicking on results and opening something here doesn't allow you to improve your score. So maybe you did half of your homework the last time you were here and you want to go back in and finish it. You want to make sure you open up homework and tests. So let's say that I go in and open up um, homework 3B. And it's going to ask me, do you just want to review or do you want to improve? I want to improve my score. So then it says there's a penalty because there's your instructor set on a penalty. Well, better than getting zero. So I'm going to go in and do it. And then let's say I open up something that I missed. Now remember, you can always redo a question by clicking similar question, um, but in this particular thing, I don't know how to do it, let's say. So what I wanna do is go over here to question help, and I can choose two things. I can have help me solve it. If I do help me solve it, it's gonna help, it's gonna take me through step by step. It's gonna make me enter answers along the way, and then it's gonna give me a new question. So that's one thing. If I already missed it, I might as well get the new question. Or I can do view an example. Now view an example also will take you through step by step, but it doesn't make you enter thing. It's just something where you watch and they do it for you. The question is going to be very, very similar, but with different numbers. And in help me solve this, and help me solve, they're actually working your question, but then they make you do a new one. In view an example, they're working a similar one, but it's taking you through what they consider to be the essential steps. And so when my videos, I lecture on the material, but I don't actually work out the problems. I do sometimes, but this is the way where you can actually see a problem worked out and you can go in and see the step-by-step -step process. And I think it's pretty thorough. There's actually 10 more parts to get through this question, right? So it shows you very completely all these things. So that's something. So let's say that um, you went through that and now you understand it. Now you can go back and, and try this same question again. On the other hand, uh, I definitely want to leave this. So on the other hand, let's say that you took a quiz and you wanted to study up before you take it again and you don't know exactly what why you missed something so let's click on review I'm not trying to take this again in here I'm just going in through results to review what I missed and so in this question I missed number one half of that but here's one where I missed the whole thing number five so I can open that up and I'm gonna look over here to the left I see 3.3.7 that's the chapter 3 section 3 number 7 and so if I want to know, well, how would I have done that? Under question help, when you're in a quiz, it doesn't tell you how to do it. So what you want to do is take your 337, and you're going to come over here to the study plan. And in the study plan, you're going to click on all chapters, and then click on chapter 3, and then click on section 3. You can just actually click right on that. And when you're in here, you can see 337, um, you can find it in here, wasn't it 3-3, three, three? there it is, 3-3-7 three, three, right here. I can open that question up, I'm not doing any homework, I'm not doing anything for points, I'm just looking at a question that was just like the one I missed on a quiz. And now I can come over here to question help and have them solve this with me. So it's a way to practice before you go back and take that quiz again. Any questions that are on quizzes or tests or homework are also in this study plan. So the study plan is really there to help you practice whenever you need to. And also, sometimes I will go through and do one a help me solve just to see how are they wanting me to enter the answer because sometimes I'll put an answer in it won't like it. So I'm just like, okay, let me just work through an example just to see the, how they want the answer entered. And that's a really useful piece of information to have. The other thing that you should know is that when you click on chapter 3, um, let me click on 3.1. Once you click on 3.1, up here there are quiz me, so you can practice that before you take the actual quiz. I don't advise it because I don't put everything on the quiz, so you might be practicing things that I'm not even going to put on there. But you can also click here and watch the section video, and those are videos done by the textbook company, not by me. But that's sometimes very helpful um, to see somebody talking about it different than your instructor. 
So that's my suggestion if you're struggling with the class. Watch my videos to get an overall understanding of the material, but use that study plan to really help you know how to work each of those questions. All right, have a fantastic day.